All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to put geometric shapes on a photo in your Photos app on iPhone 12 or 13 in iOS 15.1. So let's open up our Photos app. Let's go to a photo. All right, so and the first thing you have to do is you have to open up uh, the markup edit. So you've got to go to edit. You got to go to the very top. There's the markup icon, which is a pen with a circle. You're going to click that. It's going to open up. Um, it's going to open up this page where you can do markup, and you'll notice in the top it's going to say markup. So that's where you can do these uh, specialized edits. Then you're going to come down here. You're going to hit this plus sign. It's going to give you this box where you can uh, pick different things that you can do. Now, we want to do the arrow, right? So we're going to go ahead and hit the arrow. I'm just going to click on it, and we're going to get an arrow in the middle of our photo. And I'm going to change the color to black because this is kind of like a monochromatic screen. Now, the best thing to do is to find a stylus and use the stylus because the stylus is going to allow you to do this a little bit. E Son of a bitch. The stylus, the stylus is going to allow you to do this a little bit easier. Now, if I want to move this, I can pull it by these two little blue dots. I can contract it. I can make it longer. And then I can change the point of reference. So I can have it start here and point up at the dog, right? Now, you can also shrink it from this side, too. And this right here, you can bend it. And then you can also move it by grabbing it like that. So this way you can manipulate it. And then if you want to move it, you just go like this. You grab the arm and pull it. And that's how you move the arrow around. And then if I didn't like any of that, I could just go boom, 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 And it's gone. And that's how you do it. Then we come down to the bottom. We're going to click this little plus sign. All right, so if you look, here's the different things that you can do. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the square. So I'm going to set this down so you can see. And I'm going to use a stylus. Now, you could use your finger, but if you're clumsy with your fingers, this will probably work better. I'm going to touch the square, and it's going to put it here. Now, what we can do is we can change the color down here. I'm going to hit black because this is a monochromatic scheme, right? Now, if I want to make the square larger, I'm going to go to the one of the corners, one of the four corners with my stylus. I'm going to pull it. So let's say that I want to, um, I want to make a, uh, a frame for this. So now I've done that. I've created a little bit bigger space. So then I can grab it from here and I can slide it up. Now, if I want to get bigger, I could just pull it from the corner. It's a little tricky. There we go. So now what I've done is I've framed the dog, right? Now, if I want to make a heavier frame, I can come here and I can make it a little bit thicker like that. Or I can make it thinner. It'll give you a lot of options. You know, you got you got three here. I could look black it out too. Ah, I don't want that, right? Because now I can't see the guy. Or then I think we're gonna go with this one. So that basically kind of frames it in. And then if you're cool with that, you can move it around a little bit. You know, you see, like that. But that's basically how you do it. Now, if you want to bring this down, you could grab it here and pull it and change it from a square into a rectangle, right? Or you could pull it up. Same thing here. You could bring it in. And all the, these three sides, these three two sides compress as you do that, or they can get longer if you pull it this way. You see? And that's basically how you use the square. And so what we need to do, of course, is hit the little plus sign. It's going to open up the window where we can find our circle. As you see, it's right down here. And you can use your stylus or your finger, but I'm going to use the stylus because it's easier. So I'm going to click that. And bam, it's going to give us our circle. Let's set her down here so you can see. So what I want to do here is I want to, I want to make it black because this is a monochromatic. You know, this is kind of like a black and white photo. So I'm going to click this. And then if I want to make it lot bigger, I can grab this part here, the corner, with this stylus, and I can pull it. You see that? 
So now I can put his face in that circle. If I want to change the size of it, I can make it more of a circle. And then if I want to move it, I can grab it like this and it stays in that one little spot. And you can change the positioning of it. Now, if you, if you uh, don't like the width of it, you can come over here. You can make it larger. Or you can make it thinner, like that, if that's what you want. You know, it all depends on what, what, you're, trying to, what you're trying to do. So let's say you want a nice thick one here. So now we've got it pretty thick. And let's go ahead and let's pull it a little bit more. So it kind of frames his face. You got to get it right on that little blue thing. And then if you're cool with that, you just tap it and bam, you're done. Now, if you like that, you just go hit done like this. And then you hit over here, done. And now this thing has been edited and it's got the circle on it. If you don't like that, you can go back, go to markup, and you could touch it and then just hit delete. And it's gone. We gotta find the photo we wanna use. We gotta go to edit. First of all, it's gotta be a live photo or long exposure. It can't be a loop or a bounce or a video. So we're gonna go to edit, we're gonna click that. In the top, we're gonna to see our icon for markup, which is our special edit page that we do, that we can add these things. So we're gonna click that. We're get, it's gonna ask us to turn off live photo. We're gonna say yes. It's gonna give us this pop-up down here and we're gonna click on this. And then we're gonna go right to the very bottom to these geometric figures and we're gonna click on that, all right? And then it's gonna give us our little cartoon bubble. And then we have to move it somewhere like right here. Now, if you notice, there's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of uh, blue dots. Some have white circles around and there's a couple of uh, green ones. So th these ones right here make it smaller or larger, the whole thing, right? The green one allows me to move it. You see that? So I can move it to different spots. Right? I want it to be, go like towards Paul. This one makes allows me to squish it uh, horizontally. This one vertically, so I can make it like more round or I can make it more oblong. This one here allows me to pull it in and make this, you know, this thing a little bit. I can I can manipulate this a little bit, you see. And this one here, of course, these four here change the actual size of everything. And so remember, the green ones are your directionals for, you know, where you want to point it. So you always, that's the ones you move for that. This one's you move horizontal. This one's you, you, you move vertical. And this changes the whole si size of the scent of the circle. Now, if we're cool with that, we could just go like this and tap on it. And then we could go down here and open this up again. And we could hit the text box, right? And then the text box, if we wanted to, we could bring it, bring it watch, inside there like that. Now, if we... If we double tap the text box, we can open up our uh, keyboard and now we can write something in that. Wow. All right. Now we can tap that once and then we can come down here and change the color so that it's kind of matches the thing that we've got. I mean, you can't really see it very good in there. Let's change it to red. Now you can see it a little bit better. And now if you're cool with that, just tap there and bam, there you go. You just created a cartoon bubble and you wrote in it. And that's it. Now, if you like that, all you got to do is hit done, which brings you back to the first edit page. Then click done at the right hand bottom and it is on your photo. And bam, Bob's your uncle. There's your picture ready to go. All right. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff. Pice out.